Yo. So recently I decided to learn OpenGL and I think the best way to learn something is to just make something. So yeah, I'm gonna show you what I made. So first of all, if you don't know what OpenGL is, it's basically like a tool that allows a software engineer to interface with a graphics card. Wow. Yeah, that's done. It's not very important. I mean, I just want to show what I made. Uh, I'm not gonna go into technical stuff. So anyway, in the beginning, I didn't really know what I want to make. I mean, I still don't know what the fuck I made, but back then I had no idea, like no plan, just do whatever. I mean, I knew I want to do some like world generation because I want to use it in later games at some point. So I started by generating like random terrains and stuff. Uh, by the way, the toilet in the middle is just because I want to test some like model loading stuff. It's nothing important. It will disappear at some point. Then I had this idea that it would be cool if I could just draw a map in like Photoshop or something and then my program would just convert it into a video game map. That would be very convenient because you could just design a huge world without really designing it, if that makes sense. So I tried to do something like that. I drew this like topographic map where like brightness represents height of the terrain. So this is basically how it looked and it's pretty cool because if I don't like how sharp it is for example, I can just blur it out in like GIMP or something and it's now smoother and I don't really have to do any complicated things. Then I wanted to add some vegetation but I was arrested for trespassing in the meantime and that kind of messed up my schedule. First plants I wanted to add was obviously grass because it's like the most basic thing I guess. In the beginning it was just a bunch of triangles covering the entirety of the terrain. I later obviously made it look a bit better but at that point I wanted to move to trees. I made a video about generating trees by the way, um, you can go and see it if you want. The same. But this time I used completely different method than back then. I also tried to add some color variety, but I forgot to add color to the terrain and this is why it looks like that. But at that moment I kind of liked it so I just left it for now. I'm gonna fix it later. So yeah, I was working on these trees and it was going fine, I guess. I mean, the biggest problem was to get these branches to look natural. Because, you know, if I make them too random or not enough random, they will look very unnatural and, like, weird. But in the end, I think I found the right way to do that. I think they look fine right now. But you'll be the judge, you can comment if you want, um, I don't know. So in the end, I also added some flowers. I mean, just like a pink triangle on some grass, like things, I don't know. So I was done with the terrain, but it still looked kind of empty. It wasn't enough to like post on Instagram. By the way, I have an Instagram now, so you can follow. So I was thinking what to add to make it less empty. Those trees without leaves kind of looked like it could be good for like horror cemetery type shit. So I quickly made this grave in Blender and placed it instead of this fucking toilet. And it was fine, I believe. I mean, the grave is not perfect, but it's not the most visible, so I don't care. But the sky was still empty and I had to figure out what to put there. First I wanted to add clouds, but then I decided I'm too lazy for that. So I found a moon texture on the internet and used it on the blender UV sphere. So yeah, that was a quick learning project. I don't know if it turned out well or not, don't really care to be honest. Anyway, now I want to switch my game to OpenGL and work on that. So yeah, thanks for watching, subscribe, bye.